Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, first of all, let me apologize for not being as consistent as intended. Actually, I'm supposed to be dropping videos like every week, but you know, life happens. So, but I'm here now and I really hope I can keep this energy. Like every week I need to be dropping at least one video for you guys. So big shout out to everybody engaging on my videos. Like I really appreciate you guys. You guys are the reason why I'm still pushing. And to those who are watching and not subscribing, please, I'm begging you guys, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will go a long way for me. Thank you. So today I'm going to be talking about how to convert your footage from log to X709. So we'll be talking about S log to X709. It's usually the same process for all log cameras anyway. Um, Canon, C log, any log footage you want to convert to X709 in DaVinci Resolve. So guys, we're in WG Resolve uh, 17. I'm using the studio version, but this is something you can also do in the free version also. It's not limited to, so you don't need any of the paid features for it. So, so I think we should just jump straight into, it, straight into the tutorial. Please know that when you are converted to work 709, most people usually start from the last node. So every other grading or color correction you want to do will come before your uh, conversion node. So let's come to effects, look for color space transform and drag it in here. Always know the settings, your your picture profile settings for your camera. So here yeah, we're going to use S gamma 3 scene. S log 3, because that was what I showed the scraping. Click add. Then output color add pit color space should be rec 709. Rec 709. No, so then output gamma, gamma 2.4. So basically that is it. This is how it is the before and this is the after. Then you can come here and make your basic adjustments, your primary rays, such as lift, gamma, gain, or whatever. So basically this is how you convert from S log to X709. When in a situation where you have to, like you want to use um, lots. So this is what you do. Option S, and create another node after your conversion node. Yeah, this is in Swedish Rex 709 loot, but it's looking, it's looking bad. Today is looking a little bit bad, so you can come back here. This is what we'll do. Sonyon theme log. So anytime you want to use a unit in your footage, instead of putting your output gamma on gamma 2.4, it's preferable to use senior theme log to give you enough room to actually make all the necessary adjustments you need to make. You can come here and correct your lifts gamma then so we'll probably raise up your shadows. This is where we, this is uh, our CST node, color space transform, which 2.4. In case you don't want to use any nodes, you can just leave it on gamma 2.4, then you make all your necessary adjustments for your lift gamma gain to just white balance your footage. Or in case you want to make, if, in case you want to make use of lots, you can come over here and use Simeon theme log. Then apply a lot on your next system. So guys, um, that's it. It's pretty simple, right? As long as you know the details or the settings you're using in your, in your picture profile in your camera. If it's a Sony and you're shooting S log 3, S gam 3 C, or maybe a videographer did the, uh, did the video and sent you the footage, just ask him what camera did you use, what settings did you use. When you convert to from log to rec 709, then you can easily balance your footage and start grading. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. Thank you very much. See you next week.